Hi, this is Rod Saunders from Jew and Greek. The Christian recording artist Carmen Licciardello, known by his first name Carmen, passed away in a Las Vegas hospital Tuesday night at the age of 65. He'd been battling cancer off and on since 2013 and had recently requested prayer, stating that he was fighting for his life. According to CBN News, he underwent hernia surgery a few weeks ago that led to internal bleeding, organ failure, and then pneumonia. For those of you who don't know about his work, he became well known in 1982 with his quirky hit, Some of That. Well, I was sharing with this salesman Lyle, so he says, with a million dollar smile. Well, that's interesting, you know, here, I'd like some of that. I said, Lyle, you're going to have to humble your pride and ask the Lord to come inside. He said, oh, but I still want some of that. In astrology, that horoscope you read is just a waste. You can't find it looking at the stars, Jupiter's the moon and Mars, cause you'll soon find that all you This song was number one on Christian radio when I moved to Tulsa in 1982. Carmen lived there during that time and attended Carlton Pearson's church, Higher Dimensions. I remember being interested in a young lady who attended Higher D, and she was always going on and on about how good-looking Carmen was. And she wasn't the only one. All the ladies adored Carmen. That didn't sit too well with me at the time, but I got over it. Anyway, he started off singing in clubs in New Jersey and Philly, and then did brief stays in California and Vegas. During that time, he attended an Andre Crouch concert and got saved, and decided to devote his talents to singing for Jesus. He began touring with the Bill Gaither Trio after recording a self-published album entitled God's Not Finished With Me. That led to the recording deal that led to a string of hits. Here's a sampling of some of his work. With eagerness, he pointed to each article with pride. He said, I healed this woman through a Babylonian chant. You see, this man, I cured him while performing Druid worship. I was paid to curse this man with AIDS by his aunt. On and on, page after page, delightfully he flaunted each incident for an hour without a breath. He said, do you realize through my understanding of the dark regions that I can make you rich or even curse someone to death? Jesus Christ is Lord and God still on throne. There's power in the blood and I'm saved to the bone. The devil comes against me, he gonna feel some pain. I can bind him, bruise him, cast him out by the power of Jesus' name. On the outside, on the inside, I now stand. I'm sold out, more out, completely born again. I believe on the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. The world thinks I'm crazy. I'm just radically saved. I mean, know what I'm talking about. He said, Grave, Grave, tell me, tell me now. Did my plan fail? Oh, Grave just laughed and said, Oh, man, the dude is dead as nails. Hey, on Friday night, they crucified the Lord at Calvary. But he said, Don't tread. He said, In three days, I'm going to live again. You'll see. When the problems try to bury you and make it hard to pray. It may seem like Friday night, but Sunday's on the way. How many believe that Sunday's on the way here tonight? Through endless ages and beyond.
you to launch my final most vicious attack. What's that? I remind the saints of their past. Their past? They were liars, cheaters, manipulators, and moochers. Well, sir, you know what will happen if you remind the saints of their past. And what is that? Sir, they'll just remind you of your future! In the late 80s, Carmen was told by his record label that he couldn't preach or minister during his concerts. He was being paid to perform, not evangelize. In response, he made the bold decision to go independent so that he could be free to do what God told him to do rather than what his label said. The result was a string of hugely successful events that have been described as rock and roll Billy Graham crusades. He held concerts in stadiums with up to 80,000 people in attendance. He sold over 10 million records and had 15 gold and platinum albums. In addition to that, he was an author, screenwriter, and actor. Miss Richards? Oh, Officer Rizzo. What a pleasant surprise. Do you mind if I sit down and join you? Oh, please. Thank you. <laughs> So do you... <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, you go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Miss Richards. Oh, you can call me Jewel. All right. Jewel. <laughs> you should call me Victor. I'd love to. Love to what? Love to call you Victor. <laughs> Is there anything else I can get you? No. At least you've done just fine. I'm fine too, thank you. All right. Some switchers. Jewel. Jewel. <laughs> he wasn't as prominent in the 21st century, but in the 80s and 90s, he was huge. It's estimated that hundreds of thousands walked the aisles in response to his invitations to receive Jesus. We hate to see him leave us before his time, but he left behind a volume of work that will impact several generations to come. Our condolences to his family. <laughs>